And don't forget to tune in every Wednesday at 5 30. Oh, cool. Can't complain, can't complain. Uh, it's the new year. We yes. all here. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We definitely are. So for the people who are listening who don't know who you are, just tell us a little bit about you. Um, well, first of all, I'm a catalog runway model. Um, catalog is for people, um, you know, you op you know, remember Carson Perry Scott, you know, used uh -huh. to open up the catalog and see everybody up in there with the clothes on, you oh, know what I mean? Okay. So um, and then I do runway. So people who do custom type of clothes or anything like that, I um um, I get sized up and then I go from there, you know, I do the wrong way, you know, so um, One thing is I do want to um, come on here and um, you know shout out real quick shout out to winning season. Okay um, One of my team um, I'm also in a, a, um, LA fashion week. Okay, so um, I do have tickets coming so I want to figure out like how can I um, you know do a raffle Upcoming raffle, okay. you know, for some yeah. tickets. We can, we can yeah. definitely do that in the future. But let us know how did even you know modeling a runway even come about? How long have you been doing it for? Yeah, uh, I've been doing this since I was thirteen. Uh, I'm not gonna play with y'all. Like literally, I'm adopted. First of all, oh, you know, um, okay. let's get deep. Let's get right to it. Um, mm -hmm. I'm adopted, but the better thing is, um, one day I was in the closet. I had, uh, you know, a bunch of uh, clothes all around me. I put some sunglasses on. I had a vest on, uh -huh. and uh, I took the picture. And this one, my space was still popping. Okay. Um, I put the picture up and everybody thought I was like in a music video or something. I'm still shorty at this time. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, if y'all think this for real, then, you know, let's see what, you know, let's see what this is about. So, um, ever since then, uh, I was doing, uh, True Star Magazine. Oh, uh, okay. Ralph Lauren, um, Nike, but I was still doing foot modeling. I still oh. wasn't even to the face part yet. Foot you know modeling? I mean? So you was taking pictures of your feet? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> yeah. No, hey, look, look, hey. you get paid. I know, no, no, we know. Paid. I love it. Okay. Okay. Like the shoe was on, the shoe, the shoe was on at that point, you know. No, I mean that's the real thing. I actually have a friend who's a foot model. She actually does it on Instagram. She sells pictures of her feet. There are a lot of people out there who have. Matt, Lord have mercy. <laughs> hey, shout out to the men. I will say I don't run into a lot of men. I'm, I'm trying. You know, look, look, and this is my thing. I do want to say this while I'm here. I do it for the guys who aren't really, you know, confident enough to do it. You yeah. know, and I, I get messages from women and people women tell me wow. like i feel inspired by what you're doing i try and stay consistent staying consistent is key and i tell everybody that that's how you're going forever keep going keep going that's how you're going to get noticed later so, yes yeah. wow so now let's talk about you know you said that you've done runway modeling so okay. did you have to like practice walking like where did you where did you learn how to do that at um i i'm not gonna lie um it took work and it took people having to like, you know, I got treated before. People used to tell me I used to run down the runway. You know oh, what I mean? Wow. They used to be like, hold on, you need to slow down. You know what I mean? That was, that's been my biggest thing. And, um, you know, once you get out there and you start seeing them lights, you know, you start getting blinded. I'm like, I'm already out here now. I'm going to start walking slow. You know what I mean? So that's how, um, I'm not saying that's how I got over it, but you know, it did take classes. Mm -hmm. It took some, it took some work. So, you know, yeah. Everybody, practice make perfect for everybody. Absolutely. Wow. And how did you go about outsourcing some of your opportunities and collaborations? You said you're with Puma? Who did you have some Ralph Lauren. Um, Ralph Lauren, yes. Nike. Yes. Um, my thing is, um, I, I'm an ambassador right now for winning season. So yes. this is one of their suits right now. Mm -hmm. So yeah, straight from Atlanta. Wow. Um, I, first of all, God first, you know, all praise and glory to God. So, yes. you know, people don't right. even understand unless you got God, you're not going to make it. So, um, that first, and you know, I always tell people, you know, in order to get somewhere, you got to talk, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Stay, um, you know, looking pretty ain't going to always get you somewhere. You know what I mean? You got to say hello. You got to be professional. You got to be like, this is my, this is my, my, uh, my profile. And when you present yourself professionally, that's how you get to where you're going. Wow. Now, 
something I want to talk about that you spoke a little bit about earlier with you being adopted. So would you say like that was sort of like motivation for you? Like how did it how did it affect you in becoming your modeling career? Um, I say I say yeah. It it, it definitely it definitely helped, but mm -hmm. um, the the foster parents I had they weren't really they weren't really what you know, what ideal parents, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know, I don't put no shade on nobody parades. You know, I'm grown now, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, you know, it was a test. It was my test, of, you know, it was my trial. I had to get over it, you know what I mean? And I mean, if I never had went through that, I probably wouldn't even be thinking like I had enough confidence to walk down the aisle. Wow. So, yeah. I love that. So what would you say the next five years from now, where do you see yourself with your modeling career? Uh, first of all, I got a daughter. Uh, wow. Shout out. How old <laughs> shout is she? <laughs> she just made three. Oh. Yeah, so, um, number one, uh, I do this for her. You know, she's a girl, so at the end of the day, whatever I do, I want you to see that you go walk into it later. Yeah. Um, but the next five years, um, right now I'm 12 time published, uh, a few different magazines, international, um, uh, top posters, uh, Vogue, um, I could go down the line, but um, what do I see myself in five years? Yeah, trying to inspire some younger people mm. that's trying to replace me. I need, I'm trying to get a replacement because I'm getting old, you know what <laughs> I mean? So, I'm trying to get a replacement for later, you know. So, yeah, now speaking of doing it for the youth, what is something that you would say to an up and coming? model or just somebody coming up what would you say to them about staying motivated persevering through your trials and tribulations well uh first of all i will tell you your look is everything okay. you know especially in this modeling um industry and don't never let nobody tell you that your look is you know any less than what they have that's number one number two um uh keep um like I said, stay consistent. As long as you're consistent, somebody's going to see you and somebody's going to be like, I want to see that person in my clothes. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, um, like I said, as long as you got God, you know, you, you're pretty good. You're pretty much good in my book, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, you should be able to make it, you know? Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, I don't think you told us, uh, what part of Chicago are you from? Uh, Southside. Oh, okay. <laughs> Southside, yes. yes now, well. when you, um, you say, you know, like your look is important, now, does sometimes, does that play a role with you in, let's just say, like, mental health and something, feeling like that you are always judged by your look? Well, let me let me tell you something real quick. Um, my last agency had kind of trashed me because they used to tell me, like, to get in the gym because I didn't have, like, a six-pack or, you know, I wasn't ripped like the regular <laughs> models. And, you know, that was kind of funny to me because I was in um, another fashion show before that, Alicia Perello, shout out Alicia Perello. Um, and basically, long story short, um... I had the crowd go wild, you know, and they didn't care about whether I was ripped or, you know, buff or anything. And so with that, I promote self-love. You mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I let everybody know you could come out here with a slim body, a little bit, a little, you know, a little gut gut and still make them go crazy. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? You know, so, so you take your shirt off, you know? <laughs> but no, really, honestly, you know, I, I, I really do it for the people who think they can't do it. Mm -hmm. And that's the point. You think you can't, but you can't. Yes. So... Yeah. Love, love that, love that. It is definitely something about being that underdog and just, you know, coming out on top. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'm definitely trying to do that. That's what I'm trying to do. Have to. So, I know you said this is uh, for the kids. Could you see yourself eventually starting your own runway and sign of kids up? Um, look, I'm not Moses, but, you know what I mean? <laughs> I am not Moses, but, uh, you know, honestly, you know, if God see it fit, you know, uh, he's already preparing me. He's got, he had me going down these big runways, so maybe, maybe one day, you know, so definitely. Yeah. So, what could people be looking forward to? Um, well, like I said, you could definitely look forward to these LA Fashion Week tickets. So, you know, if y'all like Fashion Week and y'all want to go to LA, then, you know, um, definitely follow me, uh -huh. only underscore Vene0131. Um, and I am going to New York soon, so um, I'll be locked in that Fashion Week. So that's two Fashion Weeks I got going on. I also have a show in March, Alter Ego. It's a whole nother clothing brand. Um, very diverse. They're going to be all over. You know, another show I have this month, it's called Cosmetology, uh, co excuse me, Karen Tracy Designs. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, long story short, it's a big old lineup. Um, it's another show. Um, like I said, if you need tickets, inbox me, you know. But, um, yeah, like I said, it's just a bunch of runway shows right now. Um, I do have collabs coming up, but, you know, 
I just try and do it, you know, because this is what I love and I'm trying to, you know, pave the way for more people. Definitely. Now, something I want to know, you know, COVID, we're in the midst of another rise. So how was that for you? Like being a model and, you know, having to quarantine and not being able to have events and shows, like how did that affect you and how did you overcome that? Well, um, I was in the house, so it kind of forced me to, uh, to get more creative. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, um, while I was in the house, I was like, hey, let me do this. Let me try this. And it forced me to network with more people. You know what I'm saying? While everybody was all outside moving around, we never had the time to be like, hold on, let me send you this message so you could read it later, and then I'm going to figure out, you know, we can figure stuff out. Mm -hmm. Now we, God forced us to sit down, and we all, like, you know, it's a lot more people doing a lot more things now. You know what I mean? A lot of people who was stumped five years ago is kind of moving fast track now. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, what it did for me is just... It, it got my brain, it got my brain jumping, you know, so yeah. Absolutely. Now, man, if you could just, I love that we previously talked about mental health because that's so, so important, especially with the youth. Most if definitely. you could just say something motivational to the listeners and also your fan base, because let me say, your Instagram is popping. Yeah. Uh, 300 likes. I'm I mean, <laughs> woo. It's like, the, you, know, you have a fan base. How do you? What? We got to know, how do you go about keeping your fan base so stuck? Um, first of all, like I said, consistency. Mm -hmm. And um, honestly, I kind of do what the next man is kind of scared to do. Oh. And I'm still masculine about it. You know, I know where I'm at. You know, I know what I feel like at the end of the day. You know, <laughs> I know where, I know what I want to do. Yeah. But I still make sure I, I do it for everybody. My art that I do is for everybody to love. And I don't care what color, what shape you are, whatever you like, it's for you. So, you know, I've had, like I said, I've had women come out to me and they've told me, like, you inspire me. I'm like, I'm really trying to inspire the men, but <laughs> the fact that women come out is like, that's real, that, that's deep to me, you know? So, yeah. I love that. Come on, keep your fan base coming. Oh, man, I'm trying. I'm trying, you know? Uh, Y'all, you, you know? I, I'm just, uh, that's why I came on this show, because, like I said, I like I like what y'all doing. You know, uh, I even looked at y'all page. I'm like, oh, y'all jumping too. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes. Well, definitely, you know, keep us updated with the L.A. Fashion Show with those tickets. Yes. Definitely, definitely. I love to help you out with that. And let everybody know where to keep up with you on all social media. Um. Okay, Facebook. I don't know. I don't know how y'all feel about Facebook because it might be down hey, tomorrow. Hey, we live on Facebook right now. Oh, okay. It might be down tomorrow, but hey. <laughs> hey, yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, Facebook, uh, Carl Vinay, um, TikTok, Mister Dot Vinay, um, uh, Snapchat, Silk underscore Vinay, O one thirty one, um, and Instagram, only Vinay O one thirty one. Y'all heard him. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry, y'all. Hey, y'all. You're all good. We're going to post you on a page after this. Oh, okay, yeah. It's going yeah, to be a funny interview. It's going to be real funny. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Look, stay with us. It's your girl, Joycey J. I'm Tabby Moe. And we'll be right, right back. This